Hello everyone, this is Kao Ge and welcome to EDKC Home Improvement Show. Do you know what is this? Have you seen it before? Ha! Huh. This is what you call brass float waff. However, I'm not going to talk about this, but instead I'm going to talk about this one today. This is what you call automatic water level control float waff. Let me explain further. Firstly, you need to understand the basic function of a float waff. For example, huh? this is the incoming water supply and this is the outlet. There's a waff hidden somewhere inside here. So as the water level rises, it will push the float upwards, closing the waff and stopping the incoming water supply. And when the water level drops, the waff open, allowing the incoming water supply to fill up the water tank. Easy, right? Understand or not? Don't understand? Never mind. Let me explain again using this one. Come closer. This is the water inlet and this is the water outlet. The control valve is inside here. So any changes of water level will trigger the valve to open or close. Look at this, small and compact. This model is what you call side inlet mount inside, which means incoming water supply from the side and this device must be installed inside the water tank. Let's check out the other models. This model, top inlet, mount inside. Side inlet, mount outside. And this one, top inlet, mount outside. For your information, this automatic water level control float wharf comes in three sizes half inch, three quarter, and one inch. Check out the inlet. There's a filter mesh. It also comes with Teflon tape and a female threaded elbow. Now, let us recap. Total of four models with three sizes. Confusing, ah? Never mind. Let's go for product demonstration. Imagine that this is your water tank and let's start with model number one. Side inlet, mount inside. Come closer. This is the water outlet. As the water level inside the water tank increases, it will trigger the valve to close, stopping the incoming water supply immediately. And when the water level drops, the valve will continue to refill the water tank. Similar mechanism works for model number two, top inlet, mount inside. The third model that we are going to try is actually side inlet, mount outside. This is the water inlet and here is the water outlet. This is the valve and the bottom of the valve is connected directly to the bottom of the water tank. Can you see that the changes of water level inside the water tank can be easily reflected here? This is the Ford model, top inlet, mount outside. Exactly the same installation, except that the inlet is actually from the top. Thank you for watching my video and I hope that all of you have a very good understanding on the automatic water level control float valve. Always remember that there are four models with three sizes. This is Kao Ge and I'll see you in my upcoming ATKC Home Improvement Show. Bye-bye for now.